what's going on everybody welcome to episode five of our leon career mode and today we have a couple of games for you we have mets in the league one, and then we have the coupe de la league we have a jacio in this round here and then we have toulouse in the liga or league and again <laughs> they they're very similar la liga league one syria it's, oh they all mix each other up and then we have odense as well which i believe is the one we will be simming i'd like to play um this cup game so not the biggest names today but names we need to keep on winning against as you can see we're still four points back of Lille, one point back of paris we need to continue to win so let's jump into this game against mets we can rotate a couple of players I actually kind of like those away kits for mets those are really nice the black ones there they are nice so we're gonna make a few changes what those changes are, I do not know. Mendez has been complaining about his lack of football. We're going to play him today. Um, he's one of those players where, you know, I want to play him more, but I also want to get the youth here really up and running and moving in the right direction. I think this is the team we'll go with. We'll move Tete in, Anderson, and then Mendez, and I think everyone else will stay. So let's jump into this. Leon Metz. Let's see if we can keep winning. Nicely done. Steps inside. It's good football here. Really good football. And it comes to Depay. Steps inside nicely. And Depay can bring it across to Dembele. 1-0. Excellently done from Depay. And on four minutes, we take the lead. And this is what happened against Dijon. These teams that want to sit back, if we can break them open early, we have a good chance of really piling it on. And Depay does well. He steps inside. Steps into that space and plays the perfect pass across. Dembele hammers it home. We have an early 1-0 lead. Nice step inside here. And Depay's into it. Oof, almost a really, really good move. But it comes back to Depay now, who turns brilliantly. And Depay's on it. Steps inside. Can he slide it across? He can. Brilliant. 2-0. And Depay once again making it. Brilliant. Terrier with the finish. Depay does well. He cuts back inside, just holds on to it, finds the ball across. And Terrier sends it into the back of the net, just out of the reach of the goalkeeper here. You cannot get across in time to get a touch on it. And a quick 2-0 lead here. Ten minutes gone, and we're in control early. Let me play that forward. Nice tackle. Is it penalty? No. I said nice tackle. I meant to say nice turn. Then eventually he was just bought down. Eventually the poor tackle came in. Dylan Brun with the tackle there that bought him down. Dembele's standing over it. Can he fire this into the back of the net and give us a 3-0 lead? Oh, it's a good save. That is a really good save from the goalkeeper there. Hmm. And unfortunately, we cannot take advantage and grab a 3-0 lead. I fumbled through it anyway, but it's an opportunity wasted here, and I would like to grab that. we got to get better at the penalties. The penalties so far at Leon have not been great. But Dembele does so well to turn, and he goes from distance, and he's forced that goalkeeper into another good save. That gets clipped in here, headed up in the air. Denier, and he tried to head it back, but that man ran inside. Nicely played by Metz. It's a nice step inside. Oh, he goes for goal here. Excellent finish. Hmm. Nice step. Could have been 3-1 or 3-0. Now it's 2-1 and we got a game again. That's a really good goal. A really good step inside. And he has just curled that right beyond Lopez, hasn't he? Look at this. Nice step inside. Right there. And then he just goes. An excellent, excellent finish. Oh, excuse me. Hiccup there from the Mets man there. It's 2-1. Nice play here to Triore. Triore's trying to stand his man up there, and he does so well. And Triore clips it back, and it's going to be a free header. It's off the bar. You've got to put it on target. Oh, Terrier. He has to put it on target. There's nothing else I could say. He was standing all alone in the six-yard box. Had time to watch it and everything. And he has smashed the bar. Nice takeaway there, and it gets played forward. Here's Terrier. He slipped that inside. He can, and Cornet's 
Racing away with it, and Cornet steps inside. Brilliant from Cornet, and there it is. 3-1. An excellent step inside. We had plenty of help, but Cornet didn't need any of it. And that's 3-1, and we give ourselves a little bit of breathing room. We're starting to get a little bit tense in there. But we have given ourselves a little bit of space. It's a lovely ball in here, and there's plenty of men in the middle. He just steps inside. Hammers it. Did the goalie get a touch on that? He did. Ooh, got a touch. He got a touch. I actually meant to go near post. It didn't happen. I just thought he slid it into the far post, but... Goalkeeper got a touch. Either way, it's in the back of the net. 3-1. Steps inside nicely, Depay. And Depay's racing away. Fought down. Tough tackle. Oh, he sent him off. Gave him a red card. They didn't show it or anything. And they sent him off. Mets down to 10. I thought that was going to be a red card. It looked like the thing, but it didn't do anything. As Depay goes, and that's a brilliant free kick. And we score from the free kick as well. Double whammy there for Mets. And this game is done and dusted. An excellent, excellent free kick from Depay. But they didn't show the red card. I was waiting for it. And then they just kind of zip forward. It's going to make changes, but red card. An excellent, excellent free kick to follow as well. Look at this. Over the wall. Dips under the bar and over the hand of the goalkeeper. An excellent free kick. It's 4-1. Lovely football that, but Denier standing over it. It's going to come back our way. and ooh, Really good hit. and It's a good save as well. From Lopez. Really good hit from that position. It's punched away. You get a touch onto it, but it continues to go. Oh no, it's going to fall right back to him, and what a block. Oh, I thought for a minute that was goal number two for Mets. A little bit of luck, but we managed to get it away. And that gets forward to Kakare, and he's trying to race away. Not the quickest. But he still manages to hold on to it. Kakare, brilliant ball in as well, and... He didn't take it first time inexplicably. Just hit it. Oh, he wanted to take a touch. It was a touch behind him. He's got to smash that into the back of the net, but it looks like this game is going to get finished. And a very convincing win here. And once again, against one of the smaller teams, you get up early. And you cause them plenty of problems, as that's a brilliant ball in and Terrier. Oh my god, what a cross. He's got to uh, put that on target, but what a cross. <laughs> Thankfully, we're already 4-1 up, and these chances that we're missing aren't problematic, but we've got to put some of these away. That was an excellent, excellent cross. Like, that's an absurdly good cross. Nicely won here. Can we slip it forward? We can. Looks like we might get one more opportunity. It's Terrier here. And Terrier, hmm, that guy stopped to cover that run. I didn't think he would, but it is what it is. 4-1 the final. A victory over Mets. A very good victory as well. And, of course, the lag comes through. I'm not sure what's going on with the lag, but we're kind of just dealing with it as we go. It's just kind of skipping and stuff like that. But a good game and a good result. And hopefully, maybe some other teams around us have dropped points. That would be ideal. We'll see. They have to play each other at some point, I would feel, as well. All right, so let's get some of the training going. They revamp training next time to make it more than the five players or something. I haven't really looked into it. I want to kind of experience it as it comes. I tend to like that a little bit better. But let's jump into this game against Azacio. Azacio. Scouted players. Signed. That's okay. Those players weren't that great. So let's jump into this again Ajaccio, we can we can actually rotate a little bit here. I want to play in the blue, and they can play in the red and white, I guess. Uh, but I want to make a, quite a few changes here. We can only bring five players onto the bench, which is a bit annoying, but we'll have to deal with it. We we'll bring Kakare. Um, Mendez can come again, I suppose. Tusar can come onto the bench. Who for, though? We don't need Dembele today, I don't think. Um, do I want to bring one of the kids as well? I think I do. We'll start Bard today. 
At center back, we'll go Anderson, and we'll um, play Mar uh, Marcelo, who hasn't played just yet. Um, what else do I want to do here? Kalulu, do we want to play two really young kids at the fullback position? Of course we do. And then Depay can play, I suppose. We don't really have... I mean, we can play him, I suppose, but I kind of don't want to do too much of the youngsters. Too many youngsters, if you know what I mean. We'll bring Greery onto the bench, and we'll bring Jean Lucas onto the bench. For who, though? Toussart. But, uh, Toussart's only 22, actually. I thought he was older, but <clears throat> he's moved in real life. It's one of those players we might move on. But we can bring him on for Kanate and then move Toussart back here if something actually happens to one of these two. But let's jump into it. A rotated side. Leon Ajaccio. Let's go. Oh, got a foot onto it. Not enough, though. It's played into a good spot here. Top of the box. All alone. 1 0 to Ajaccio. Not what we want to see. Half hour gone. Booze around the stadium. Not what we want to hear at home. It's decent football. It's a good ball out there, but all the space in the middle. Nobody ran with him. And it came onto his foot, and he hammered it first time. And they lead here on 28 minutes. Not the f opening half we wanted. One more. Nicely done. And Depay, can we get that ball to him? We can. Depay steps inside nicely. One more. Finds a Camby. Keeps his run up. A Camby slips it back, and it's Mendez. There it is. 1-1. We've leveled it up here. Ten minutes after the fact, we're level. And Mendez grabs his first goal of the season. It's a lovely finish, but it's a lovely move as well. Stretched him out a little bit of Jassio. They've been pushing forward quite a bit today. But it can be does well. Steps back inside, finds the ball first time. Into the back of the net. A lovely finish from the midfielder. And it's 1-1 on 40 minutes. That's a good ball out to Okambi. Here's Cornet. He slips a really good ball forward. And it comes to a Camby who takes it down. A Camby! Brilliant. Excellently done from the striker. It's 2 1. And we've taken the lead for the first time here on 55 minutes. It's a really, really good finish from a Camby. The takedown as well. Excellent from the striker. And he has just hammered that home. Absolutely hammered it. Let's watch this again. It's a lovely clip ball in here. And he just takes that down inside, doesn't he? And he just hammers it first time. An excellent, excellent goal. And on 56 minutes, we're 2-1 up. Mendez. Back inside to Depay here. And Depay's going to try and race into the space. And he has. He's still holding on to it. He can clip it inside. And there it is. Oh, what a what a save. But we get a little bit lucky. Akambi absolutely hammered that. Absolutely hammered it. Whack. Hit, we greened it and everything. But it just comes back to him after the save. And he gets to tap it into an empty net. Unlucky for the goalkeeper because it's an incredible save, really. But 66 minutes gone. We found the third. And a bit of space. Nicely done. It's a bit of space. A lovely ball clipped in. Oh, he's taken that so well. Mm brilliantly done I've just made the last of my subs too so and I took Depay off and didn't bring Awar on so I really hope this isn't a turnaround right now but he took that down well and that's an excellent finish it's clipped in it's just excellent take and really good finish it's a really really good goal oh, just over Lopez's shoulder that's a really really good goal from that man right there Corte and uh, now we have some more work to do still. Rennie Adelaide gets it to Greary. And Akambi races into space. He's on a hat trick. Akambi, lovely finish. And there is his hat trick. And we go right back up the other end. And restore our two-goal lead. A hat trick for the striker. And we look like we're on our way into the next round, I believe. I don't think this is two legs here. I'm not 100%, but I'm pretty positive this isn't two legs right here. But it's a nice step inside, and Guerri did well. Ball could have been a little bit better, but Akambi did everything he could and found the back of the net. A hat trick for him. And it's 4-2 on 75 minutes. 
Nice take by Marcelo. You can play it forward to Cornet, and there's a lot of space here for Guiri. And Guiri with a nice touch. And that... Is that going to be red? Is that going to be red? Looks like it. And is. He is sent off. And Ajaccio are down to 10. It's kind of all unraveled here. As they make their last sub. Akambi's going to stand over this. Try and put this in the corner. And... Oh, brilliant. It's his fourth. That's an absurd free kick there from Akambi. As that goes in off the bar. I believe that hit the post and the bar. That's what it looked like. But brilliant either way. No chance for the goalkeeper. It just hits the bar. Brilliant, brilliant goal. Another free kick. A couple of free kicks. Excellent, excellent finish from Akambi. It's his fourth of the day. 5-2. Ten minutes to go. Ball gets clipped in. Can we get a header out? It's up in the air. It's the floating around and it comes all the way through. And Ajaccio pull one back. It's probably not going to mean anything in the grand scheme of things. There's only three minutes left, but it's 5-3. And that ball just didn't get clear, did it? Head got onto it straight up in the air. They get a touch and a little bit of luck as it hits Marcelo's leg and just falls into this man's path. 5-3. We had a proper cup tie here today. Sean Lucas, Tussart. Out wide to Bard. Nicely done. Oh, it's a lovely turn from Akambi. 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 Another. His fifth. Akambi has run riot today. And has wrapped up the game with his fifth. Our sixth. As we stroll into the next round. Excellent. And what a performance. A great touch here. And then he just steps back inside. Curls it beyond the goalkeeper. An excellent, excellent goal for Akambi, who hits five on the day. And we hit six. 6-3 six is going to be the final score here. Ajaccio knocked out a very eventful cup tie. 6-3 the final. A red card in there as well. Five goals for Akambi. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant display from the man there. As we move on into the next round, a very good result. Very, very nicely done. Lille move on as well. Par oh, that's Paris FC. I thought that was Paris. St. Germain for a minute got knocked out 3-0. But it's Paris FC. But very, very nicely done. So forward we go. As you can see, we've passed up Paris. So they must have drawn last time. Who did they draw with? Was this October? They drew 1-1 with Marseille, so that is a big result for us in a lot of reasons. One, we're four ahead of Marseille now, and then one ahead of Paris. We're still four back of Lille, who have yet to lose. They've conceded six all season. They are uh, flying high, which means we got to continue to win. So let's jump into this game against Lille. Cut down on a couple of these there. But yes, let's jump into this game against uh, Toulouse, not Lille. Lille continue to win, as we were saying, as Paris have won their game. So we're going to need to win this game to go back up into second. Toulouse, no pushover. Everybody looks fit and ready to roll. So let's jump into this. A big old game here. Let's go. It's a nice ball up this wing here. Plays it first time in. Oh, what a back heel. What a hit. Great save. That was such a lovely little move there from Toulouse. Everything came off except the final shot didn't hit the back of the net. Not for a good save. As that comes down and it is in the back of the net now. 1-0 to Toulouse. Five minutes in. Not the start we need. Or not the start we needed. Can't even speak. Brilliantly done there, really. Mm. That comes in. Gets taken down thought we were going to get that. He never really jumped. And then he just hooks it into the back of the net. It's a lovely finish. And to lose with a good start here. We've got work to do already. Nice play. It's a bit of space here. Kind of let him walk into that space. He gets the header. You guys have got to start jumping for headers, guys. Max Gradle just got way above you. Not that Max Gadel can't jump or anything, but you should at least be putting up some effort. 
2 0 to Toulouse. Not what we needed. That gets clipped in here, and it's just too easy. You've got to jump. He gets way over him. Powers it into the back of the net. And on 11 minutes, we're 2 0 down to Toulouse. A very bad start here. Dembele doing well to hold on to it. He can clip it forward. Terrier does so well to win that. Cuts back inside. Can slip it forward. Brilliantly done. And always hit the post. Didn't really connect with it cleanly, Dembele. And he has smacked the post. Can we do something again here? Dubois. Finds Dembele. Brilliant. Played on. Depay. Oh, he's hit the post as well. Oh, man. Two massive opportunities there. And we didn't come away with anything. That's a really poor ball. A really poor ball. That was an easy pass and a poor ball. As that gets clipped into space, it's 3-0. And a really, really bad giveaway in midfield. And we're 3-0 down on 23 minutes here. Unbelievable. Dreadful, dreadful, dreadful. It's Gradle again. What a bad 25 minutes. Not scoring our chances. Bad giveaways. Weak goals conceded. An awful 25 minutes here. Nice play. Back inside to Dembele. And Depay's making the run. Brilliant from Depay. And Depay, can he slide this across? He can. Nicely done. There it is. We've pulled one back. It's Traore and what is seemingly his first touch of the game. And he has hammered that in from a tight angle. I thought for a moment the goalkeeper might get to it. It's a really good ball across. Just gets inside the back of the net, doesn't it? Not too much space to put that in from that angle. But Traore has pulled one back. It's 3-1 here. Eight minutes to go before halftime. Terrier. Our Back to Terrier. Cuts back inside, and he finds Depay in a good space. And Depay, there it is, a second. We're back in this now. 57 minutes gone. It's 3-2. Can we complete the comeback here? It's nicely done by Terrier, and Dembele's run just drags everybody. And then Memphis just hammers it into the back of the net. Can we do this? Half hour to go. This is a big old free kick. Let's get Depay onto this. Can he put this in the corner? Does well. Oh, what a save. An excellent, excellent save there. Needed to be from the goalkeeper. Wish it was just a little bit more over to the side as that header comes in. And it's straight at the goalkeeper. Not a lot of time left here. We need to find something. One more. Depay. Back into Awar. And Awar is coming forward. Can he play that ball into Triori? He can. And Triori is back and he gets it through. Awar! Oh, he's missed it. How many times have we had a chance to level late or win the game in that exact position? And we have flat out missed the entire goal or had it saved or whatever. It happens so often. I can't even tell you. It happens so often. It's so annoying. That should be a goal. One more. It's annoying. Denier. Can we get one more opportunity here? It's going to be time here for one more attack. It's Cornet on it. And Cornet steps inside. And there it is. Oh, come on. You've got to shoot. <laughs> We're going to lose this game to Toulouse. We played so well the entire second half. We should have, should have found a third. We get late opportunities and we just don't finish them. That's a massive loss also. We need to win these games today. A massive, massive loss. <sighs> I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe how often late in games we get that exact chance. And it still hasn't found the back of the net. 
I can't believe it. And we had that one right at the end as well. It didn't... I wasn't meant to go to that guy originally. It did. Ridiculous, ridiculous result. Ridiculous result. Let's see if we can get one here against Odense. We do. A 3-0. Nobody gets sent off. Nobody gets hurt. Two 3 nils over Odense. That's what you can look for. But as you can see, Lille lost the game too. Who did they lose to? Marseille. I can't believe it. Marseille have done us a favor there. Or a couple times. Whereas we play Marseille next. Taking points off Paris and Lille. And now we have them to play. We've dropped some silly points this year. Some really bad points. Montpellier have passed this up as well. But a win would take us back in front of them. And it's a whole thing. Player of the episode. We're going to go with a Canby. One, because I, I don't count losses. When I do players of the episode, I just pretend everybody had a zero when we lose. And then it's just two games. And he had five. We just can't can't ignore that. Player of the episode goes to a Canby, an excellent performance. Now, next episode, huge games everywhere. Marseille, and then we have Nice, Benfica, and Strasbourg. We've got to get, we got to win the three league games. We just have to. Let's take a look at our Champions League group. We may be able to sim the Benfica game, because we're kind of, if Leipzig did us favors? No, they're both on five. Oh, we're seven points ahead with two games to go. We've won the group. So we can send the Benfica game. That'll do. That will definitely do. They drew both times. So we have won the group. <laughs> that is pretty insane as results have come our way. But that'll do. We have won our Champions League group. So next episode, we will be playing those three. Marseille, Nice, and Strasbourg. We'll be playing those and then simming Benfica. And then we'll be simming this Leipzig game as well. Which is a shame. But we have a cup game in here as well also so yeah next episode will take us out of november and this one will be lille nim stad rene and then we'll have the cup game after that and kind of see how things go guys but that is going to be it i hope you folks of course have enjoyed it stay tuned for more and peace